Hey, what's going on, guys? Shitty Thursday. It has been a brutal week, okay? Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. It's been uh, a rough stretch for us, and we've just been getting so unlucky with two guys getting injured yesterday. Today, Bo Nix has 135 yards at halftime, finishes the game with 164. Two plays to Vele get called back. Absolutely insane. Like, it's just ridiculous. But you guys are watching this. It's not bad picks. It's just bad luck. And that happens. And I have a screenshot in front of me right now. Here's the part where I'm going to educate y'all. Okay. And I'm going to read this be a refresher if you guys have followed me for years. If you're newer to the channel, which I'm noticing a lot of you must be because some of the comments I'm getting are like just very low IQ, which is fine. But you have to understand, I'm going to educate you now. So going forward, you'll be you'll understand what's going on. But you have to understand that prize picks is a parlay app. All you're doing is parlays. So it's fucking long shots, right? So the wins are going to count for a ton. The losses count for whatever you bet per play. So if I do $100 per play and I lose 30 plays, I'm down three grand. But then if I win five plays, I'm actually up like four or five grand, right? So this chart right here shows my full record in September, minus a few plays. It actually was a little bit better, but $24,000 profit. You guys get the fucking point, right? It's 19 wins and 187 losses. So I've actually been getting comments and I'm trying to go back and forth with people and like try to help them understand it because I understand that you don't understand the math and that's why you're frustrated. But I want you to understand the math. And if you're going to be following my channel or anybody on prize picks, you really should understand what you're getting into here. Like, this is what a winning month looks like. This is third party verified by Picket. You can go on Picket's site and follow my account, Cody Dunlap. Like, I can't fake this. It's my accounts synced up to my Picket account. They're tracking all of my plays. I had 19 wins, 187 losses. I think from the first of the month all the way to the 12th, I think I was like 0 and 35, right? And then I got hot here, had a shitty day Monday. And then I got super hot on the 28th, 21st, and 23rd. So 28th, I got super hot right there. So one day made up for most of the profit on the month. This is how it is if you're betting on an app like Prize Picks. You're going to have stretches where you get your ass kicked. But the trick is to bet a smaller amount. Like if you're really stressing out over three losing days, you need to put a smaller amount down. Okay. And I'm about to get into my free pick and I'll show you guys an example of this. But like when I'm pairing the same duo with eight things, what I want you guys to do is put five bucks on each of the eight. So instead of doing $40 on one play, do five on eight plays. To me, this is common sense. So I have failed to really like stress how to do this. But if you're working with an account that has 200 bucks, don't go put in $20 a play down, put five bucks a play down. Good rule of thumb is for every $500 you have, put $5 on a play. So if you have five grand, you'd be putting 50 bucks per play. If you have 10 grand, you'd be doing $100 per play. So 1% of your account balance on each play. Don't be going out there with an $80 account, putting 20 bucks on each play. You're going to hit a losing streak and go to zero. And then don't complain when you do, right? So that is my money management talk. We've been going through some bad luck. It's been a shitty few days, but look at the month. Like what we've gone through the last three days is equivalent to probably this week right here in September. So like, we're going to be fine, guys. We're going to have a day like the 13th, the 14th, the 28th, the 23rd. Like we're going to be fine. Don't panic. Understand the math and understand that one win offsets all of the losses. Okay. So for Friday, the best play out there is going to be a tight end and i'm going to find him for you he's the purdue tight end max claire now sometimes 
people will say, oh, you don't give stats to back up your picks. I want more analysis. We'll give you a little bit of insight on this play, but like, I really get my picks from watching all the games. I lock myself in a room. I watch every snap and I'm getting eyes on these guys. I'm putting in hours that the normal human can't. And honestly, as my son gets older, I'm not going to do this much longer. This might be the last year that I do this. I I love doing it, but my main goal in life is to train my son and get him to the NFL. So eventually, I'm not going to sit around and watch football all day. But for now, it's what I do for a living. And you would look at this and you'd be like, eh, he had one good game. Well, the reason he had that good game is because he got a new quarterback. In college football, oftentimes quarterbacks unlock players, okay? So his quarterback unlocked him. And this guy's a freak, dude. Max Clare. I'll look him up for us real quick so we can see what he looks like and his size. He's a big-ass athletic dude, okay? So let's see. Number 86, 6'4", 240. Look, when I watched him, he passed the eye test. He's basically an extremely athletic, big receiver. He's a uh, hold, another Holden Willis type player. It's crazy that he's a sophomore too. This guy might be a guy for us for the next few years, honestly. So he's the first pick, and then we're going to pair him with his quarterback. And then what I recommend doing, okay, most people are going to take this pick and they're going to put 50 bucks on it, 100 bucks. And let's say you're going to put... 25 bucks on it instead of putting 25 on this what i want you to do is i want you to pair it with five things and put five dollars each on it now you can sit here and panic and be like oh my god we went oh and five if it loses because technically you lost five bets but i'll take you back to the chart the record doesn't matter the profit matters. So I had 187 losses. I had 19 wins. I made 24 grand profit. $24,000 off of my better account. The app, Jake Paul's app, better. This is all better right here. Um, I'm limited on prize picks. So unfortunately, I can't slam it or I fucking would. But don't panic if it loses, for the love of God. It could, it could easily lose, guys. Newsflash, it's a long shot parlay. But what you have to understand is over the course of a month, there's pretty much no way you're not going to profit. I'll show you guys why here in a second. So let's do Cam Ward and Restrepo here. Do this real quick. If I can find Restrepo, where you at, bro? This is a four-man. So what I'm telling you to do is put five bucks on a bunch of different plays like this, okay? I'll give you guys some examples in a second. Let's go Restrepo, and then let's go find the um, Purdue team right here. Playing Oregon, beautiful matchup. We'll go passing yards. So we'll go uh, 181, fucking low. And then receiving... To find that um, tight end, Max Clare, right here, 47. So these four plays right here, if I did it on DraftKings, five bucks would pay 31. So five bucks pays 31 on DraftKings. And then on prize picks, it pays 42. That's a fucking huge difference, guys. My wins, prize picks is paying us too much money. They're overpaying us, okay? So because they're overpaying us, it's very easy to profit here. It's easy to slaughter them. Now you're going to have losing stretches. And if you quit and you panic and you're like, I lost faith, man. You lost me 30 plays in a row. Okay, well, you're dumb and you don't understand math. And that's why I'm making this video to help you not be dumb and help you understand the math. But if you give up, and then you start making plays with four random guys in different games, you're gonna get your ass kicked. You're gonna get killed. Now check this part out. This is my favorite part. So I'm gonna lock this in, right? Got 965 bucks, it's a $5 play. Oh, I'm blocked from doing that, wow. Why am I blocked from doing that? Because I've won so much on prize picks. I didn't even win that much. I profited 10 grand on this account. When you profit 10 grand, they will limit your account, how much you can bet. 
So my account is severely limited. My wife's account, my dad's, my brother's, my other brother's, everybody that I know that I can trust with 10 grand, which, you know, might be a dozen people. It's not like there's a ton of people I can just trust with 10 grand. Most people would rob you, right? Um, They've all made 10 grand on their prize picks account. And then they just pay me half. We split it 50-50. So I can't really put much money down on this stuff. Once it's midnight, I'll be able to do $25 more. So I do five $5 plays. But I'll show you guys another thing too. Here's another free pick for you for Saturday. So normally on a prize picks account, you'll see three dots right here where the play is. Give you guys another free pick here. There'll be three dots and you can share it with people so that they can click a link and copy your play. Prize picks took that away from me because they knew I was sharing it with you guys and they knew I was helping people profit on their website. So this is all proof right here that like I'm telling you guys straight up, I have made so much money on this app that they have completely banned me, right? I used to have a promo code on prize picks. They used to pay me for referring. They cut that. They cut all my pay. Like, they completely fucked me over, honestly. And it's super unethical, super messed up, but that's why I take so much pride in helping you guys win on this app, okay? There's people on YouTube who give out shitty plays. They don't bet on it. They're not limited. They can't show you that their three dots got taken away right here. And they just bullshit y'all. They give you two mans because two mans hit frequently. Like, and then some people even Photoshop their bet amounts. Right? I'm showing you I'm limited here because I've won so much. So there's people doing the exact opposite of me. They're doing two mans, plays that are not mathematically advantageous, photoshopping tickets, and people eat it up. Honestly, they probably get more views than me, more people watch them than me because there's more dumb people than smart people out there. My genuine goal with this channel right here, guys, is to help you become smarter. And I've talked about it in the past, but... I can build faceless sports betting channels where you have no clue which ones I own, which ones I operate, and they'll print money for me. I don't have to do any of this shit. And honestly, I love you guys so much. 99% of y'all, you guys are why I, I, I enjoy this and I do this. But some of the comments I've been reading lately are insane. Like the fact that I just put up We're doing solid in October, by the way. We've had a shitty week, but we're doing solid in the month. We're going to end up having a monster month of October. But the fact that I did this in September, and I crushed it in August too, and people are questioning what I'm saying, it's just like, fuck, dude. I almost just want to be like, why do I even try? People bitch no matter what. I might as well just fucking Photoshop tickets and just scam people. Like that's, I watch everybody do that. I watch everybody Photoshop tickets, scam people, feed them bullshit. And it sounds good. And people seem to like that more than when I get into the math and strategy and stuff. I'm, it's like fucking nuts to me. Because for me personally, I'd rather know how to actually profit and win. And I'm showing you guys straight up how to profit and win. Like I literally pulled the payout over here showing you how it pays less. And it pays more on prize picks. And that's how you profit on prize picks. Like, yes, you're going to get unlucky. You're going to have bullshit, ineligible man downfield penalties and stuff that screw you and injuries that screw you. But that's not going to last the whole month. Like, if you look at that uh, calendar, I'm, I'm telling you all, back in September, people quit this weekend of the, the 6th, 7th, and 8th. People quit. And you know what they missed out on? They missed on the 13th, 14th, 15th, 21st, 28th. I made 18 grand on the 28th alone. Five grand on the 23rd. It's 19 wins, 187 losses, okay? You're going to lose a lot on apps like Prize Picks, Better, DraftKings Pick 6. You're going to lose a lot. But the wins, if you do it right, the wins will make up for the losses. So that's my education for you guys. Your free pick is going to be that Purdue tight end. Love the Purdue tight end. Um, and I'm pairing him with the quarterback with a bunch of other stuff. Okay. So that is that duo's your free pick. It might lose. If it does, don't panic. Thanks for watching to the end of the video, guys. Love y'all. Good luck with all your bets. And I'll see you guys in the next one.